Hello from the Ophthalmologist and welcome to our first Rising Stars event. For 10 years we have been honouring the most influential people in the field with our annual Power List, arguably the single biggest media event in the ophthalmology calendar. This year we expanded the roll call with the Power List Hall of Fame, highlighting those Power Listers who have had the most significant impact on eye care over their careers. Now we extend the scope of the Power List to ophthalmologists and scientists who are at an earlier stage in their journey. The Ophthalmologist Power List Rising Stars programme creates a connection between the luminaries featured on the Power List and in the Hall of Fame, with individuals who are making waves in the industry, despite their relative youth. Each of our candidates has been nominated by one or more of the Power List alumni. This shortlist was then honed by our editorial team to create the final lineup. 10 rising stars who are following their own paths, building on the work of their mentors and forging new connections to advance the world of ophthalmology. We will follow our rising stars as they navigate their way through the field, keeping a close eye on their achievements and welcoming their input as the ophthalmologist embraces a new generation of experts and leaders. Our roster of candidates will grow each year as we continue to seek out and celebrate these stars of the future. So now it is my privilege to introduce the Ophthalmologist 2023 Rising Stars. Please join us in congratulating them on their success and in anticipating their next career steps with excitement. Here we speak to 2023 Rising Star Pooja Kumar. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank the uh, entire uh, your entire team for choosing me as one of the rising stars. It's been, it's, it's a very uh, honored uh, experience. And I would like to introduce myself. Uh, I am Dr. Pooja Kamar. Uh, I am a clinician and translational scientist. And I am humbled to introduce myself as a passionate and dedicated ophthalmologist and also a translational scientist who's committed to advancing eye care and improving patients' life. So when I was a fellow in my first year of fellowship, I did attend two meetings. One of them was ARVO, which is a hardcore scientific meeting. And the other one was the ASCRS, uh, which is a cutting edge, uh, which, which is a meeting which focuses on cutting edge technologies and advanced surgical skills uh, for an ophthalmologist. So when I came back uh, from the meeting, I, I had a mix of inspiration from both research background and the, and the surgical science background. So I was a uh, little greedy and at the same time I was passionately in love. I wanted to do both at the same time. So I didn't know how, how to go about it, but uh, uh, because of what I was doing in my fellowship, I was offered to do a PhD um, in wound healing and refractive surgery, which, uh, was a com which gave me an opportunity to be a both a clinician and uh, to work on translational research. And this was an opportunity which opened doors to both um, the scientific and the uh, surgical uh, background. So I did take that up and that's how my journey started. And since then there has been no uh, looking back. Uh, and I would say the end, only thing which I have been following in this journey is um, I have learned to always sing for my soul. Um, since the day I started. So, yes, that's how it is. So, again, uh, it's like when I started, like many youngsters, I wasn't sure about the direction, uh, the, uh, the destiny where it's going to take me. Um, so, it was a little bit of, you know, uh, open, barren land there, where there were many roads, uh, but did not know what to choose. But at that point of time, my mentor, uh, Dr. Rohit Sethi, uh, he did tell me to remember one thing in the entire journey was that enjoy the journey and don't worry about the destination. And since then, my joy of work has been to enjoy the beautiful journey uh, and all the lessons and teaching it gives me and also all the success that it gives me. Um, so that's what I have been doing. So it's not been like always a, a, a very smooth one. There have always been roadblocks, humps, uh, failures, everything. But uh, following two things, uh, sing for your soul and enjoy the journey and don't worry about the destination uh, helps me. And of course, the wonderful support I have from my team and my mentors, uh, they help me keep moving and they, I don't stop. So that's how I have been here, what I am. 
I think again, uh, that was something which was there in my destiny. Uh, as I said, as I mentioned, I, uh, my uncle, when I was a child, he was a retina specialist. And my aunt also, uh, she was, she's a glaucoma specialist, she's still practicing. I think they both had a great influence and I always wanted to do something, uh, you know, where the patients are going to, uh, you know, have a good reward to what you do. And ophthalmology can, is one of the branches where you can do that. Like vision is the most beautiful thing I think a person can have. So that's why ophthalmology. The memorable highlights, oh, it's not been, it's, it's not one, there are many, so I can't really say, uh, I think the first and the foremost, it, it was a decision, it's not, it was not a highlight, but it was a decision of joining the clinical and translational research PhD program in, uh, with Narayan Netralia and Maastricht University, where I did my PhD in wound healing and refractive surgery. So the day I completed my course and defended my PhD was one of the memorable highlights. Then again, uh, presenting, there was uh, one more thing which uh, uh, we present. I presented uh, five papers in ASCRS 2019 and won four of them. So that was another highlight. Um, many more like that, but yes, uh, those were the two big ones. And the third big highlight was, uh, uh, which is going on, it's not yet completed, but uh, working, developing the first point of care diagnostic kit, uh, where you can me measure various uh, molecular biomarkers in your clinic. You don't need a laboratory setup. You can measure the biomarkers in your clinic with just a Schirmer strip or aqueous or vitreous tumor. And you can get reports and you can actually customize treatment or have targeted therapies for your patient in your ocular surface conditions, dry eye, diabetic retinopathies, ARMDs, and multiple of such aspects. So that has been one of the highlights. And uh, one more highlight is uh, working on gene therapy for ectatic uh, corneal disorders. So yes, these are the few ones, but there have been many more, but I think these are the ones which I feel have been uh, rewarding and path breaking and also gives me a lot of joy doing that. What I would like to achieve uh, by the end of my career is to make a lasting impact on ophthalmology through a combination of clinical and translational research. Uh, I would also love to be known as an ethical and sincere clinical and translational scientist, which has created something uh, impactful for future of ophthalmic research. And I think uh, the future of ophthalmology will be or shall be or should be a very personalized driven approach for every patient and which is which has been my aim, as I said, like, you know, we work on targeted therapies. So which should be the aim uh, through the uh, tale of biomarkers, genetic testing or personalized drug delivery based on what condition do you have? Not just like, you know, not just like if a patient has, uh, let's say, keratoconus, you do cross-linking for all the patients. No, I think it should be, the way forward should be customized therapy where you choose uh, giving a drug or you choose doing a cross-linking or you choose implanting rings. So it should be a customized delivery approach for each of the patient. Uh, of course, AI and big data is going to play a major role in it. Uh, and... Uh, uh, we would all. I would also. We are working on it, but would we would want to bring it to uh, practice about nanoparticle drug delivery system. Um, there is going to be a lot of impact of nutrition and psychological health of the patient. Basically, a holistic medicine approach, uh, which will precede everything uh, we practice today. So I think that's what the future of ophthalmology is going to be. Uh, and my mentor says the future of medicine is uh, we should embark on creating a future which isn't the same as what we are doing today. So that is something which I would like to highlight it. Yes. Um, I don't have one, to be honest. Um, uh, I have many, but a uh, few of them who have, if, if you consider from ophthalmic point of view, 
um, when I was a child, my uncle, my my paternal uncle, he was also an eye doctor, a renowned retina specialist. Um, but yeah, uh, in the in 1980s, he had this dream, a very rare dream of being a clinician and translational scientist. So he used to work as a retina surgeon and do all the complex retinal surgeries. But at the same time, in his extra duty hours, he used to work on translational research. Um, he worked a lot on eye banking, preserving corneas. He was one of the first in my country to work on preserving corneas for a very long time, which could um, help a lot of uh, remote areas have to do corneal transplantation. Uh, so he had, and now he works a lot on cancer, uh, delivery cancer drug delivery systems uh, and multiple other vaccination he was also one of the person who was involved in uh, a covid vaccine development so he had been my role hero since i was a child and then one day i was attending a meeting uh, where um, and then when i was in my post graduation dr abhay vasavda who's a renowned cataract surgeon impacted me a lot uh, to choose up this branch and when one day I was attending a meeting, uh, I think I saw Dr. Professor. I always wanted to do refractive surgery, but I wanted to do refractive surgery in a way that, you know, it, it, it's combined with translational research. So I think I saw him one day presenting work and have, of course, heard a lot about him. Um, so it was around 12 years back. So he created a, a deep impact of what, uh, you know, what potential one has. And, uh, you know, he, he's a great mentor. He helps a lot. Uh, he helps the youngsters like me. It's not just me. He's trained multiple other uh, mentees across the world. And he gives immense platforms, uh, uh, guidance, um, opportunities of what one can do uh, in terms of clinical and translational research. So, yes, he has been one of my other role models. So I'm sorry I don't have one. Uh, I have, I think, these three of them, uh, many others across the world. I have Professor Arthur Cummings, Professor Gatinil, uh, then uh, Professor Amar Agarwal, uh, uh, one Dr. Rupal Shah. She's been the lady behind the success of Smile. So, yes, she's also been one of my role models. So, there are three main ones, but other very uh, uh, different ones uh, whom I think I can... Uh, dedicate my success what i've done till date because looking at them uh standing on those giant shoulders i think i am what i am so yes there have been many and i shouldn't forget i'm sorry just one more line i shouldn't perfect, uh, forget our uh, late chairman uh dr bujang shetty uh who also the holistic medicine approach is something what you've learned from him and uh He's always taught us, do whatever you want, research anything and everything. You have all the uh, all the freedom to do what you're doing. Uh, he's, uh, he, he was the one who started Nara and Netralia. But always remember that your patient should be first and your patient's happiness should uh, be about everything in life you do. So I think uh, he, he, he's always going to be there in our uh, memories. So yes. Thank you. The future of ophthalmology, of course, is um, holistic science approach. Uh, uh, holistic medicine approach, sorry. Uh, the future of medicine should be the holistic medicine approach, where looking at a patient, hearing patient's history, uh, clinical diagnosis, and uh, probably uh, incorporating biomarkers into clinical practice, you decide what should be the targeted approach uh, for that patient would be the way forward. And those biomarkers, uh, it's not only molecular biomarkers, it's going to be imaging, a mix of imaging uh, and molecular biomarkers. I would like to say it, it, it's a marriage between imaging and molecular biomarkers and patient's clinical history, which will tell you what should be the best uh, personalized treatment for the patient uh, would be the future of ophthalmology. And I would also urge all my young friends uh, to embark and indulge in this area of research because that's definitely going to help us shape uh, better towards clinical practice. Um, I think I would only summarize saying always think for your soul. 
um follow uh, your heart and your passion uh, things will look impossible in the beginning but if you uh, if you are driven and if you don't worry about what's there at the final post but if you if you look more at the journey i think you will reach where you are and there is no shame of starting with everything what you get and then slowly choosing the right path or slowly choosing the path what your heart uh, uh, calls for uh, don't don't worry about it it's just just go on just go for it and and i'm sure you guys every all of us will do well